Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Relationship Hour? Silk, while you get your work on. The one and only Kenya Brown is in the building with me. Hey. Afternoon, ha- afternoon, afternoon. Happy uh, uh, Mother's Day to all the moms who had a great Mother's Day. You have a great Mother's Day? I did. I had a busy Mother's Day. I didn't stop moving. Do y'all want a busy Mama's Day or you want a chill out Mama's Day? I want to chill. I want somebody to feed me some grapes and rub my feet and give me a massage, all that good stuff. <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> and some flowers. Yeah. And some candy. Yeah. How long do you want the foot rub? About to say something crazy. I say since it's Mother's Day, yeah, an hour. No, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I like to relax into my massages. Don't act like you don't like a good hour long massage. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put you through that. I, I pay somebody to do that. Yeah, well. Yeah. Hey, I, I could go for that too. Yeah, let's just do that. Just pay for somebody to yeah. come over. It has to be a male, though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Could y'all do that, people? Could you have a... Hey, men, could you have a male massager, masseuse dude come over and massage your wife at your house? <laughs> could you do that? Yeah. Could you do that? You just go on outside, honey. Yeah, Cut okay. the grass. Yeah. All right. All right. No. All right. Let me see how that works. Now, we getting a woman. <laughs> It's gonna massage Your hands both hands are of us. too soft. They no, they're not. This is Russian woman that gave me a massage one time, and uh, and it was good, like good pressure. Yeah. I need good pressure. She was good. She was good. Okay. At first, I was kind of like, "Will she be able to do it?" And she was like, "Hello, um." Yeah, as long as it's you know, I have to test them out to see how strong. Yeah, they he are. made he made a way. Says, "No, I'm doing it myself." He said. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to massage a woman's feet for a whole hour? She, Kenya says a whole hour. Yeah, I don't need that 10-minute business. Like, okay, in okay. between commercial. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, there you go. Yeah, okay. That don't work. We about to get inside a relationship hour. And uh, Kenya, let's go ahead and start off with today's uh, today's situation. Help out this this woman. All right. Dear Sam, I had a good Mother's Day. However, something happened that I feel some kind of way about. I was married to my children's father, and while we were married, he cheated on me with his now wife. The whole situation was messy and painful. Now, five years later, they have a child together. My children don't spend a lot of time with him, and even less with his new wife. But one of my children decided to wish his new wife, the other woman, a happy Mother's Day on Facebook. It hurt my feelings to the point where I began to cry. I didn't want to say anything to my child. I feel that although it was a good gesture on my child's behalf, I don't feel that she realizes how their relationship came about and how it affected our family. Am I being silly? Or should I have a conversation with my child about her father and uh, my divorce? I don't know how old your child is, uh, but I think children need to stay in children's place. If she didn't see, is it a woman, is it a girl? Yeah. Okay, so if the child she didn't see or, or didn't witness none of that drama um, on her own, I don't think you you should explain or have to explain that. Um, I think sometimes we put more stress on ourselves uh, by even dealing with this, and it also shows that maybe you're not completely healed from the situation. He's no longer in your life. Mm-hmm. He moved on. Now, granted, he could be a better daddy, but let let the kid decide. Yeah. Let because the kid it's decide. a different relationship. Your yeah. relationship as a parent is different than your relationship as a spouse or something like that. So people who are horrible spouses can still be good parents. Yeah. And it's a lot of burden to put on a child to have to hold that grudge like, okay, you're not you don't love mommy if you speak to this other person or right. like that other person. That's that's just Your a daddy left with that hoe. Right. She was a hoe. Did you know that? She ruined our family. Yeah. That's and you a giving lot. her a shout out on Facebook for Mama's Day? And it was just Facebook. Yeah, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe that's the way of the of the daughter uh trying to get some attention from from her daddy. Mm. Maybe maybe that's what unfortunately will, you know. Or maybe she just raised a nice young lady True. who wanted to be kind and say um, Happy Mother's Day to her sister or brother's mother. 
Yeah. Because they, she does have a sibling. Yeah. With this woman as well. Yeah. yeah. But I think that as parents, especially moms, we look at our kids as possessions. Like, yeah. you're mine because you came out of my body. So your allegiance yeah. has to be this way or that way. Right. I can't see what uh, you're being silly because in, in all actuality, your relationship was over before he knew one ever came about. But sadly, um, light is tripping on that. Horrible parents at times are generational. Um, I got you on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Br- Brandon said, um, the whys and wherefores about your divorce has nothing to do with your child. You should never, ever create a reason for your child to dislike their father or yeah. alienate his new wife. Regardless as to how you may feel about her, they know who she is in relation to who you are. If you feel some kind of way about them expressing some appreciation to their stepmother, the problem is yours. Keep it that way. Yeah. Uh, 888 888-409-0931. Feel free to call in. We'll take your calls on this, and we're reading the comments as they come in. Um, again, I, I think that we shouldn't be putting kids, like someone just mentioned here, in grown folk situations. Mm-hmm. Kids need to stay out of that. Stay in the damn child's place. I know. It's, it's rough. These relationship issues are rough for us to deal with. So it's got to be rough for a child to deal with, like, who who did what, and right. grown folks stuff. You don't do that's that. just a lot. That's, that's too much, man. Yeah. And, you know, again, you need, you're need you not you're not over, in my opinion, the situation. Absolutely. You're not over it. That's, that's why it's bothering you. Yes. Jocelyn said, I can understand why you're upset, but leave the kids out of it. It's not their fault. Saying something can come out of being vi- – can come out being vindictive on your part, and the other child is still their sibling no matter how they came about. Continue being the great mom you are. Children will make up their own minds when they get older. As you said, they don't see him much, and you are the caregiver. Don't do anything to upset upset that. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't, don't do that, moms. Yeah, don't do you it. Know. Yeah, let that go. Because clearly you've been, you've been a good mom. You know, to have a child that's caring enough to reach out and, you know, wish their stepmother a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 888 888-409-0931. Go outside and play with your friends. Kids spend too much time playing video games and trying to be grown. Okay. All right. Miss Rena, how you doing? How you doing, Miss Rena? She's checking in, too. More comments. What you got? Uh, Philandra said, why or how you and her dad's marriage ended is none of her business. It's like you're asking your child to choose which parent they love or like more. Who does that? Yeah. It's not about you. Get over yourself. You're divorced. Move on. Yeah. That's kind of like, that's kind of like, like, I'm glad, you know, as far as picking. Like, you got to let a kid choose or just be them, meaning let them love the other parent. What yes. y'all went through, they should not They should not be, you know what, since you're not talking to daddy, I'm not talking to daddy. Right. And we have a lot of that. A lot of that goes on with grown folk. And you allow you allow this this mess in these relationships. I, I, I just think it's crazy. It shows how immature you are. And maybe you were the reason why he left. Maybe he was the reason why he did what he did. It doesn't make it right. Right. But maybe you ran him on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's take some calls. It's Sam Silk Show. Hello. Let the child's greeting go. Don't move on from the fact that the, the chick uh, rolled, o- rolled on your husband. <laughs> no further comment. All right, bro. <laughs> Sam Silk Show. Hello. Hi. Hey. How you doing? I'm calling in about the issue today. Please, go ahead. Okay. So I'm probably sounding like a lot of the other callers, but... um. I would definitely say that she is uh, kind of been, a, I won't say petty because that's judgmental, but I would say that, you know, she should not have her child, it's a girl, right, daughter? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, having any input about what went on in, you know, her and her father's relationship, 
because, you know, sometimes these parents use these kids, you know, to um, as pawns in their, you know, little relationship games. And that's just not, I mean, fair. Whatever happened or didn't happen in their relationship has nothing to do with the child. So, you know, that the, the, to the extent that she should not, you know, wish, um, you know, Happy Mother's Day salutations to her stepmom, that's, that's just kind of small. So, I mean... I come from the camp that, you know, they should keep the children out of that business because that has nothing to do with them. Good stuff, man. Thanks a lot, beautiful. Sam Sook Show, hello. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. What you got to say? I want to say, first of all, I agree with you. Leave it alone. Secondly, we have too many baby mama trying to use the kids against the fathers. You knew what they was about when you spread your legs. If you didn't, you shouldn't have laid down with them. Okay? Uh, all right, Mama. All, all right. right. Sam Silk Show, hello. Yes, Sam Silk, I was calling about the question. Please, go ahead and help the woman out. No, she shouldn't tell her child. That that child has nothing to do with her hurt feelings. As you say, as they grow, they'll find out how their father is according to their relationship with him, but she should never tell them that. That won't do nothing but hurt them like she's hurting. She need to get over that. What, what's that beeping? What, what what you do? You at work? Yeah, I'm at work. You at the hospital? I'm in the nursing home. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. All right, give Ms. Johnson her applesauce now. <laughs> <laughs> you cut it out. <laughs> All right. But thank you. All right, Sam Shook Show, hello. Sam. Yeah. She should be proud of the fact that she raised a child and did it on his own without her even having to tell him. Yeah, that's real. That's real. Without even the father's help, her child went out and wished somebody else's mother happy Mother's Day. Yeah. She should be proud of that fact. Now, now, had that child wouldn't have bought her or got her a card, you know, like they make them in school, then then she should be really hurt then. Right. <laughs> Where my card at? You couldn't draw me no I love you? <laughs> but be proud of the fact that you, your child did that out of their heart. So that means that you raised a good child. That's what's up, man. For real, for real. Sam Simpson Show. Sam Simpson Show. Hello. Hey, Sam. This is Kay from Akron. Hey, Kay from Akron. I just want to say, kids love their dads, but they're going to follow what their mom does, okay? If the mother is sitting and speaking badly, she don't have to be talking to the child, but if she's talking about the child's father around the child and the child can hear it, the child is going to follow what the mother does. So these mothers need to step their game up just a little bit and give some of these brothers a chance. It's not always about the money. All right. Quality time counts in All the right. kids' eyes when they go to school and they have the father-daughter walks and things like that. They love that. It well, don't cost money well, to walk your baby to school. Right, but that, what she's saying is he hasn't been able to do that. He hasn't been doing that, I should say. And so she feels some type of way that her baby didn't reach out to the woman that took her daddy from her and tell her happy mama's day. And like you said before, it just depends on how old that child is. If the child is a teenager, then maybe it's time for you to sit the baby down and let them know, you know, what's going on per se. They don't have to know every detail, but they need to know, okay, well, we're not together, blase speed happens, you know, but still, you have to be respectful. They, He's moved on, why can't you? It shouldn't hurt that bad. All right. Thanks a lot, dear. Appreciate it. Last comments before we go. What you got, Kenya? All right. Uh, Tiffany said, get over it. Find you a new man, and it won't bother you. And Steve... Of course, I had to read Steve's comment. Uh-oh, Steve. What's Steve talking about? Uh, Steve said, seems like you're basically asking if you should be petty. Well, I'm going to be the first person to grant you permission you're seeking, and I'll even show you how to do it. While, you, while you're being petty and telling your child her dad cheated on you, 
Be sure to include all the details. Tell your child about how you refused to fill her, fulfill her father's needs. Wow. So he found someone who would. Wow, also, Steve. <laughs> also tell your child that when a man cheats on his wife and marries the woman he cheated with, that means he found the real person worthy of sharing his life with. Your replacement wasn't temporary. It mm. was permanent. Oh, yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Steve, come on, man. Darn it, Steve. Steve, for real, man. <laughs> Steve, you better be at the all-white party, too, on May 27th at the Improv. Yeah. Man, Steve. I want to see all our people that uh, comment on Relationship Hour at yeah. the white party. I want to meet you. Yes, we want to meet you there, man. Uh, May 27th, Improv. Call Improv. Get your tickets. Or go to samsilkwithawhite.com. Tickets are available right there. The biggest all-white affair going down. <laughs>